Dear friends, today we are going to learn one of the important function of the urinary system that is formation of the urine. There are three main phases of the formation of the urine. The phase one is filtration, the phase two is selective reabsorption, the phase three is tubular secretion. As we can see from the phase one name filtration, it means here the filtration actually occurred. The filtration of the components of the blood in Bowman's capsule occurs. Second phase which is selective reabsorption where the selective reabsorption of some of the constituents of the filtrate when the filtrate is running through the nephron occurs. And the third phase is a tubular secretion where secretion of the some of the components from the blood into the late part of the nephron occurs. So let's focus on first part of the process that is filtration. Filtration actually occurs at the Bowman's capsule and this occurs through the semi-permeable wall of the glomerulus and the glomerular capsule which is also known as the Bowman's capsule. This filtration occurs because of presence of the pressure and this, this occurs because of blood pressure in the glomerulus is at the higher side and the pressure of the filtrate in the glomerular capsule is at the lower side. If you see the numbers of the pressure, the blood pressure in the glomerulus is called as capillary hydrostatic pressure which is equivalent to 55 mm of the Hg. This 55 mm of the Hg pressure is opposed by osmotic pressure of a blood which is 30 mm of the Hg plus filtrate hydrostatic pressure that is 15 mm of the Hg. So in short, the 55 mm of mm of Hg pressure is opposed by 30 plus 15 that is 45 mm of the pressure. Therefore, there occurs a net filtration pressure of the 10 mm of the Hg and due to presence of this pressure, the filtration occurs in a Bowman's capsule. We have one definition here that is glomerular filtration rate. It is defined as volume of the filtrate which is formed by both kidneys per minute. So in numbers it is around 125 ml per minute. That means that the both kidneys normally produces 180 liters per day of the filtrate. So this is a huge number 180 liter but uh, when we think about the urinary output in 24 hours that is per day it is around 1.5 to 2 liters per day. So let's focus on the second page phase of this urine formation process which clearly describes why there is so little amount of the urine is excreted though 180 liters is being filtrated. The phase number second is selective reabsorption. The kid selective reabsorption is a process where the reabsorption of the contents from the tubule to the blood occurs. That is some of the nutrients or some of the ingredients from the renal tubules get reabsorbed that is re-entry into the blood occurs. This is called as selective reabsorption. We have one definition here the kidney's maximum capacity for reabsorption of a substance is called as transport maximum or which is also known as a renal threshold. Now let's come back to some of the points. Here in the diagram you can easily see the glomerular hydrostatic pressure which is around 55 mm of the Hg is opposed by the blood osmotic pressure that is plus capsular hydrostatic pressure the both pressure equal to 45 mm of the Hg. So here we are getting the net filtration pressure 10 mm of the Hg that is also that is also 1.3 kilo pascals. Now let's see what are the different blood constituents that are coming into the glomerular filtrate. Water, mineral salts, amino acids, glucose, some hormones, creatinine, urea, uric acid, some toxins and some drugs. But the large molecular contents are retaining into the glomerular capillaries. These are some cells such as the leukocyte, erythrocytes, platelets, plasma proteins and some of the drug. So some component will come into the filtrate.
but the larger molecules will again retain into the glomerular capillaries. After the selective reabsorption, the third phase is there for the formation of the urine that is tubular secretion. So here in this case, while the filtrate is moving from PCT, DCT and loop of Fenlay and towards the downside portion of the nephron, there occur secretion of a secretion of some of the ingredients from the blood into the tubule. This is called as a tubular secretion. So in short, we have seen the three phases for the formation of the urine. The first one being filtration. Second one is the tubular, sorry, selective reabsorption. And third one is the tubular secretion.